Transfer pricing is a major focus for tax authorities in Asia today. We heard earlier in our conference from Dr. Lau of China about what his focus in international tax enforcement, and I think something like 70 or 80 percent of his message was that transfer pricing was what China was going to be looking at. We look at India, we look at South Korea, we look at Japan, Australia. In each of these jurisdictions, we see increased enforcement and regulation activity in transfer pricing. When a company comes into a new market, in Asia particularly, I think one of the, the, the key things that we provide as an advice would be to think in the long term. Don't think about transfer pricing as it is in one year or particularly in a, the early period when you're just entering the market. In those years, you're often going to have losses and you're going to be looking at, uh, at a challenging for transfer pricing. But the, the question is, do you intend to have, for example, a, a fully fledged manufacturing operation or a low risk contract manufacturing operation? You need to make those kind of decisions early and then play through all the years to make sure that your transfer pricing is consistent. In that way, you can have a good solid story for the, for the tax authorities when they come knocking. Every tax authority, with the exception of Vietnam and Philippines, has an APA program. The amount of activity varies. Uh, India, for example, just introduced an APA program this year. They now have 150 applications, actually, that came in um, in March of 2013. So obviously a very active program. Japan, Australia, South Korea, long time uh, APA programs with, uh, with major uh, history, both with the United States and intra-Asia. Um, more recent uh, APA program activity would be China, a, a place where we have maybe uh, 100 pending applications um, that have built up over about five or six years. But we heard again at our conference that the APA program is going to be a focus for the Chinese, and particularly expanding resources to make sure that, that companies that want APAs have, have access and can get them done. As I said earlier, only the Philippines and Vietnam are the two holdouts on not having APA programs, and both are actually considering en entering into the space right now. Uh, Vietnam probably this year, Philippines maybe in another year or two. But I think that the, the trend is clearly not only for APA programs to be available on a formal basis, but to be active and serious uh, places for companies to solve their transfer pricing. This is the, uh, the way of the future, uh, both for governments and companies. Transfer pricing is complicated, it's very fact intensive, it's, it's a high risk area. And so the companies and the governments are interested in getting to a resolution and getting one that, that is not just for the current year, not just for a year under audit, but for a period of time to take it off the table so that the, the governments can go on and focus on other areas of tax and the companies can get the certainty they need to do their business.